Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Mask Friendly Makeup, where today we are going to be looking at brown eyes and how to accentuate that. Um, I am not going to be wearing this makeup the whole time, in fact, let me go ahead and take that off. Perfect. So you might also be wondering that I look a little different. Yes, I'm blonde today, and that is because uh, sometimes my hair doesn't look right, and I make it look nice by changing it and its color. It's, it's not real. It's not real. <laughs> Alright, so today, as I said, we are going to be doing some stuff for brown eyes, and obviously my eyes are blue, but this will work on really any eye color. I do tons of different looks uh, and different colors on my eyes, but it's really going to accentuate the brown eyes. Now, the last episode that I did, I used browns, and that's another color that really accentuates brown eyes as well, is neutral colors, but I already did that, so we're going to do something a little different, and we're still going to keep things simple. So we are going to do something with blues today, and we're going to do what's called a halo spotlight which is gonna really make things look beautiful and rounded, and it's just fun to do, and it's not that hard. So I'm actually gonna be diving into my Morphe palette today. This is the 39A palette. So if you want to get that from morphe.com, you can get it, and it's beautiful. It has a lot of beautiful colors in it. Look at this shade right there. Lovely. So we're going to be diving into a couple different colors here. We're going to be using this dark blue and we're also going to be using uh, this very light shimmery blue. It's very hard to tell that it's shimmery, but it is a shimmery blue. Um, you could also use a shimmery white if you have that as well. So whatever you want. And again, we're just going to keep it simple and use those two colors and we'll uh, go ahead and get into it. So as I said in the last episode, it's really important to prime your eyes and I always recommend the Urban Decay um, Original Potion Primer. Looks like this. You can get it from Sephora and I believe at Ulta, it is Urban Decay. And again, this really just helps to set the eyes. So I always go in with that first. And once again, I did do my eyebrows off camera. That's why they look fabulous. Okay. So now we're gonna go in with a blending brush and I'm gonna be using the same one that I used last time. This is a Morphe brush, but as I also said, you can use e.l.f. brushes, you can use things that you can get at the drugstore. Um, you just really want it to look very, nice and rounded so it's a very nice rounded brush all the way up at the tip as well so I'm going to grab my palette here and a halo spotlight is really what you're gonna do is you're gonna round out your eyes so in the last episode we did our corner of the eye and blended it inward this time we're actually gonna be putting makeup on the outer corner and the inner corner and blending it into the center and it's not as hard as you might think it is. So I'm going to dip into that dark blue color and I'm going to start in the outer corner of my eye. Again, nice soft motions here, circular motions on that outer corner and start bringing it in. I'm gonna bring it in to just before the halfway mark. See how that works? Grab a little bit more of that and I'm gonna start going inward. Now, this is pretty pigmented and it's also pretty dark and some people don't want it to be that dark and that is okay. What you can do is get a palette that has a little bit of a lighter color. You do you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, 
Kinda looks like he got punched in the eye. But we're gonna make him look snazzy. So now we're gonna go into the inner corner of our eye. Kinda pat that on. And I'm gonna start bringing that up. And I'm not gonna go all the way. I'm gonna leave a little bit of space there. Okay, so now, again, looks kind of crazy, right? But here is where we're going to bridge the gap. So I'm gonna go into that light blue that I was talking about. And I'm gonna bridge this gap up here with the light blue. Okay, go in one more time with that. Okay, and then we're going to use our hands. So I'm going to get some of this pigmentation on my finger. I usually use either the ring finger or the pinky finger. It's just easier. And you're going to gently pat that on to the center of the lid. Just like that. Really, really simple. Then we're gonna go back in with our blending brush and we're gonna drag in that dark color. And you can always grab a little bit more to blend. And we're gonna drag that into the center, but not all the way. You wanna keep some of it that bright, shiny blue that you did. And here's the cool thing. Let's say that you're not actually this type of person. You're like, this is some glam makeup. It's really not. You can make it however you want it to be. And the cool thing is, is that you don't have to do the rest of your makeup because you're wearing a mask. How cool is that? So you can literally just do your eyes and it's gonna look beautiful. So you can try out new looks and you can be a little bit inventive, innovative. Teachers, you wanna be innovative, I know you. Uh, so, now that we've done that, I am actually going to blend this top part a little bit and I have not put anything else on my brush. I am just blending it out keeping a little bit from the brow bone so I'm keeping it a little bit away from that brow bone there okay and then what I like to do is go one more time in with that shimmer right on top do a little bit of blend in action and see how we have a nice spotlight. That's what you want. Nice little spotlight. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye off camera so I don't look crazy. And I will be right back. All right, here we are back and ready to go with some blue eyes. And now it is time for eyeliner. Now, yesterday, when I did my other video. I guess I shouldn't have said yesterday because this may not be yesterday that you're watching it. I don't know. Or the next day. So. Oh. I should have this all out. I am a teacher. Should be prepared. Not prepared. I think that's everything that we need. Should be. We'll see. Alright, so now we're gonna get into some eyeliner, and this is really super simple. If you are not a wing girl, I am a wing girl, you may not be. That's okay. I got you covered. Let's do a really simple 
line across the eye because here's the thing we're doing a spotlight look we want the attention to be drawn to the center of the eyelid so we are going to go ahead and just do a really simple line here really thin really simple and you can do this with a regular pencil you don't have to do this with a liquid eyeliner pencil um, or pen I just happen to really like the pen I think it glides on smoother it does take a little bit more practice and as I said in the other video if you're gonna get a liquid eyeliner pen go for a good one go to Sephora and get a good one so you can already see it's really subtle but it accentuates the eye and that's exactly what you want so I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye okay so here's both eyes with the top part done and now we can move on to the lower part. Just kidding. Psych. <laughs> Got you off guard. I didn't forget mascara. What are you talking about? We're going to do mascara first. It's just easier. Otherwise, you're going to forget. So, just a couple seconds on the curling of the lashes. Oh, what's this? <laughs> Yeah, okay, well some of us maybe just don't have a napkin in front of us and we happen to use our hands to uh, wipe off our makeup and that that's okay because you just clean it off afterwards. It's not a big deal. Hope y'all don't mind my goofiness. That's how I am in the classroom too, so. Alright, time for mascara. Just a nice little coat of mascara here again this is really going to elongate your eyelashes accentuate your eyes and you want to get a good one you don't want gross clumps of your eyelashes it's, just, it's just not becoming so now that we have done that, we can now move on to the lower lash. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, like I did before, I have super dark circles, and it looks weird when I have makeup on and no concealer. So, I'm going to put some of this on. And as I said in the last video, this is Smashbox Neutral Light Fair, I think. Yes, Fair Light Neutral. Same using my y6 morphe blending brush i'm just gonna go in and gently tap the under part of my eye here really lightens and brightens and honestly looks strange right now because i'm not wearing foundation but i don't wear foundation when i'm wearing a mask it's just gonna get i mean i have a mask that has makeup all over it so, you just want to put a little bit on here. You can, I mean, you could put it on your forehead. You can do whatever you want. Maybe you don't even need to cover up dark circles, and if that's the case, I'm jealous of you. Okay, let's move on to the under part of our eyes here. We're going to do another good old smoking out of the bottom lash line. And to do that, I am going to be using another Morphe brush. But again, you can get any brush. I believe there is an e.l.f. set of brushes for maybe $15, $20. You get about 15 brushes in there. That's pretty good quality. And you get a brush that's like this. It's just a smaller bl blending brush. I mean, you can look at the difference here in the brushes. Obviously, this one is bigger, but they're both rounded. That's what you want. We are going to go back in with that dark blue color, and we're going to smoke this out. So go underneath and just sort of 
sort of smoke it out. You don't need a lot of product. Okay, you can kind of see. Look at how natural that is. Let's do it to the other side. We're not going in the waterline. We are just going below the waterline. And we are also not going all the way. You're going to notice that we stop about three quarters of the way, but it's not a hard stop. It's a soft stop. And then finally, I like to jazz it up a bit. So I'm going to go back in with that light blue and put it in the corner of my eye. And I can sort of drag that over a little bit. I like to do that because it brightens the corner of the eye which gives an illusion, and that's what we want. We want a little bit of an illusion here. Okay, so let's see what it looks like with our mask on. Ready, ready, third time we're doing it now. What do we think? Obviously this is with blue eyes, but imagine I have brown eyes. And, uh, you know, this is just something that you can do that's fun, and you can try this out with browns even. This would look beautiful with a dark brown and a shimmery white. Try things out, test it out. One of my really good friends actually did one of my, like, they did my look from the last video, and they sent it to me, and it was really cool. So, please, if you do one of these looks, even if you change the colors, send it to me like I, I really want to see it I think it would be really cool and um, let me know if you want me to do another color another look if you want me to do something with eyeliner eyebrows um, anything to help you out with mask friendly wearing um, I can do another episode of mask friendly makeup for you so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later bye